Okay, how to test a fuse. Uh, these glass ones, you can look through the window. And you can usually see. These are a little tough to tell for sure whether they're blown or not. Uh, oftentimes when they blow, they will cover up that glass completely with a uh, flash mark. And so it pretty much is obvious. This one will do the same thing. Uh, usually be a flash mark in the middle. But you can also tell if that element's actually burned in two. Cartridge fuse can't do that with. Uh, unless you have ones with the windows in it. So we'll Okay, I'm going to use a multimeter like this one to test it. So I'm going to go to the ohms position. These meters all say OL when there's no continuity. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to want to go ahead and go here. Now what I've done there, I've, this is a diode tester, but it also will beep. And it's a little easier to use if it'll beep. Uh, okay, now that I've set up... Uh, the meter. I've checked here. Okay, I've got a beep. It goes to zero. Then I'm going to check across here. Now I'm putting these probes in here. When you're doing this with a ohm meter, make sure you get good contact. Those points should be dug in pretty well. Okay, it still says OL, so that fuse isn't any good. Now I'll go to another one. Okay, this one is good because I'm getting the beep through it. Now if you wanted to, you could check one of the glass ones. You don't really usually have to check them because you can see through them. But see now this one's showing good too. Here's another one here. It's a larger fuse. Now it's showing open. So this fuse is bad and this fuse is bad. This one's good and this one's good. Simple as that. How to test these fuses. Uh, you can get a meter, oh geez, you can get these things for three or four bucks a lot of times. I'm not real thrilled with the cheap meters, but then I'm, I do this professionally, so uh, it's a little more important that I have a good meter because I use them pretty hard, and then they, uh, if you're not careful, the leads will go bad on them or the meter itself goes bad, and it could get you in all sorts of trouble. So, uh, but if you're just doing this, you know, as you're trying to find out what's wrong with your equipment, you can pull those fuses out and check them with a cheapo ohmmeter. And that is checking the uh, fuses.